Record. All right, lovely stuff. I hope you're all still enjoying the classes. And if you've any requests at all at any stage, just text me. Open to new suggestions as well. Okay, so please do. It's the only way that things will improve. Okay, so wrap the bands around the thighs to begin. All right. And kind of not too high up because generally they tend to kind of roll up a little bit. So keep them lower in the thigh area to begin. Um, and we're going to grab your tins also. So from here, guys, we're just going to, well, first of all, I'm just going to warm the shoulders up. So just bring the, tin, the weight of the tin cans out and we're just going to circle the arms to begin, okay? So we're just going to get a nice little burn on the arms before we start. Get a bit of mobilization going on in the shoulders. Nice circles. And we're going to go forward or back, whichever way you didn't go, go that way, please. Good. Done. And then just hold it there in line with your shoulders. We're going to go forward and back. Just back in line with your shoulders. We're bringing forward, chest height, and back. Breathing in as you go forward and back. Good. Again, just in line with the shoulders, no further back. All right. Give me three more. Two. And one. Keeping the arms in line with the shoulders, I want you to bring the palms and hands up towards the ceiling. We're going to lower and lift just a little bit below the shoulders and then a little bit above for 10, okay? Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, well done. Feeling that burn already. Stuff. And one. And then we're going to go forward and back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Well done. Three. Woo. One. And pulse for 10. Sorry, palms down. Pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Two and one. Okay, so bending over slightly, slightly soften, soften the knees slightly, knees under the on, feet under the knees. And we're just going to bring the arms forward and back, squeezing the shoulder blades forward and back. Okay. Okay. Again, really tight with the arms against your sides and drawing the shoulder blades back towards each other. Okay. Okay, from there, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the legs. So you're going to bring your left heel towards your left back side, retract the arms, bring the leg down, arms forward, bring it back, heel to bum, okay? Kind of like a, an aerobics move. <laughs> but we're kind of warming the body up as well at the same time. So again, retract, leg down, or let retract as bring the leg up, sorry. Bring the leg down, stretch the arms out. Okay? Nice little burn going. Good. Go for four more. Three, two, one. Okay, from there, guys. Keeping the feet kind of slightly wider than the hips. We're going to bring a hand down facing towards your thighs. We're going to squat down, lift the arms, shoulder height. Exhale to come up. Good. Four, three, two, and one. From there, guys, we're going to go out to the side. So, side step, lift the arms, bring it back. Staying on this side. So stay to that side, please, for now. The so right side for me. Lifting the arms as you bring the arms up. You can have a slight bend in the elbow if you want, particularly if the weight is a little bit heavier and tin cans. Or if your arms are particularly tired, you can bring a little bend into the elbow. One more. Okay, swapping over, please. Other side. Okay, so again, as we always say, lunge, lift, and then start from there for 10. <sighs> well done. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, from there, we're gonna bring the hands down by our sides. We're gonna squat down. As you come up, I want you to reach the arm over, staying on that side with the right arm reaching. Lengthen through that side. Really using the obliques as you have that little rotation going on. It's like as if you're gonna throw a discus. Okay, one more. And the opposite side, squatting, rotate. Good. Two and one. Okay. From there, guys, arms overhead, holding them nice long arms. We're just going to march the knees, but we're going to hold for three as you lift. Three, two, one, drop. And drop. Keep the arms up. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, from there, we're gonna bring the arms out again as we, so we bring the heel to bum, okay? And then we want you to bring the arms out, okay? Good. Okay, right, good stuff. Heart rate up. Really trying to squeeze the hamstring, so bring that heel right to that back side. Okay, squat down gently in the middle and elevate the arms with the weights. Four, three, two, one. Down to a squat position, please. Lifting the arms to chest height, bring it down. Forward, down. Good, inhale as you drop. Squeeze those glutes as you push through. Good. Good. We're going to stick with the squat now. We're going to go wide with the arms. Well done. For three, two. One, sticking with that side reach, we're gonna come into a side lunge, drop down, lift the arms, staying on this side, please. Good. Halfway. Really pushing into that foot, driving the heel down. Three, two, keeping that knee tracking towards the toes. One, swapping sides. Come into that side lunge, lean into it, lift the arm. Can't hear you, Kate. One more. Other side, okay. And reach. So as I pivot, my, I'm coming up on my toes of that leg, okay. Rotating the hip, engaging the obliques. Nice reach with the arm. Good. Two and one, okay? We're gonna come down to a nice wide squat from here, okay? Dropping down, elbows bent, lift and lower the arms. Breathing in as you lift. 
keep those knees pushing out again so resist to the band please good bend the elbows in tight at your waist extend back and forward bring your hands to your shoulders keep it in the squat we're not coming up by that squat position get the triceps active bring the hands to shoulders and extend nice tight with the elbows in against the sides Good, three, two, one. Reach the arms out long. Come up onto your tippy toes, drop it down. Tippy toes and down. Open your tippy toes, lower, good. For four, three, two, and one. Lovely stuff, okay. From there, guys, you can leave the beans or whatever down for now. Okay, we're going to do a reverse plie. So we're going to come into plie position. So you're going to bring the left leg behind the right, come down to like a squat lunge position, reach down with your left hand, and then come back up, squat. Okay, down and squat as you bring the legs back parallel. Push down. Bring it back, okay? So we're gonna go for 10, nine, eight, seven, really good one. Well done. Last three, two, and one. Swapping sides, please. Right leg behind. Bring it back first, dropping down. Make sure you get into the position right as we do with the side lunge. Make sure your knees tracking towards your toes. Once you get into this position, you'll naturally come into that position that you need to get into each time. Okay? And then as you go into it, good. Sorry, I meant to be touching down, apologies. Down and back. Good. Last two. One. Lovely stuff. Get squatting. Sorry. We're going to go for side walks now. Bring the band down just above the knees. Push against the resistance. Squatting down, guys. Nice wide step and bring that leg under your hip. Wide with that leg. Bring this one back to where it should be at under that hip. We're going for four each way. Good. And back. Two. One. Good. Same again. Well done. One and back. Two. One. Come back to center. Okay. I want you to bring your right leg out in front. And we're going to lift the leg, draw a nice semicircle around, and bring it back. Okay. You need to touch down forward and back, that's fine. Okay, just to realign and get balanced if you find that you're not too stable. Go one more. Lovely stuff. Other side. Straight leg, standing leg, extend that one nice and straight also, point your toes, and forward and back, semicircle. Good. For four, three, roll, two, and one. Lovely stuff, okay. We're coming back into that plie squat, okay? So bringing the left leg behind, right leg down to start. Have a look at your knee, make sure it's going in the line, same line as your foot is pointing, okay? Once you're ready, three, two, one, and go. Back into squat, down, squat, okay? You can touch down if you want, sorry. Keep forgetting, reach, and back. It doesn't really make much of a difference, to be honest. It just makes sure that you go down deeper into that plie squat. Brings awareness to you going down. Okay, 
four, three, good, two, and one, opposite side, left leg in front, right leg behind, come down first, feel the weight into the heel of that front leg, and we're starting, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, well done guys, not too bad today, haven't ran on the spot yet, <laughs> last two, and one more. Okay, sidewalks again. Bring the band below the knees this time. And mid, mid calf. Keep the legs straight. Legs under the hips to start. And keep them under the hips. Go wider with that leading leg. And back. Four steps either way. And back. Straight legs, squeezing the bum. And back for four, three, two, one. We're going more, one more round of the back. Well done. Last two of these on this side. And one more. Lovely stuff. Bring the band back above the knees, please. Come into a lunge and then driving the knee up. Okay, so bring the right leg behind. You're going to come up with that right knee, drive it up, bring it back. Drive up, bring it back. Good. For eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Swapping over, please. Left leg behind. Okay. Coming down first. Get stable and then go into it for ten. Nine, really exploding that leg up, please. Nice and quick. Bring the arms into it if you can. All right, keep going. Two, one. And we're going to just grab your beans for the last little bit uh, standing. Finish on a burn. More of a burn. Go wider with your neat legs. Feet are pointing outwards and bring the band down a little bit, sorry. And come down to a nice deep squat. Our uh, hands and the hands open towards the camera and away from you, obviously, and bring the hands towards your shoulders, bicep curls up and down. Slow and control coming down. So, as if you've got really heavy weights in your hands, visualize and imagine that these are really hard and I want you to try and meet the resistance. I know there's not much there, but if you take your time, you will get some activation in these biceps. We're gonna go bend the arms outwards and down. Thighs, elbows are bent, keeping them bent. For three. Two, one, hands at your shoulders, drive up as you extend through, squat down, squat press, good. Well done. Three more, two, one, stay down your squat, bring the elbows out, and then dead hands towards your shoulders, extend away. Flex the guns. <laughs> well done, everybody. For four, three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Okay, you can bring your beans down for now. Grab your mat, please. And we're gonna hit the mat. Just keep the bands on your legs, please, for now. Okay. And we're gonna come down. Just stand at the end of your mat to begin, please. See me, please. 
I will bring this forward. The light isn't great for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Standing at the end of your mat, bend the knees, and we're going to walk ourselves forward into the dreaded high plank. Okay. I want you to bring your right knee forward and then bring it back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Good. Pushing into that band as you accelerate through. Really go fast going forward. Close of movement and then push back. As you push back, feel that glute contracting. Three, two, one. We're going to swap sides. Left leg forward, back. For 10 more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, drop the knees down. Straight into press ups, 20 reps. You should be well able at this stage, guys. All right. Your arms might be a little bit tired after those extremely heavy weights. So go for the knees if you can. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Breathing, exhaling, sweating. All the good stuff, guys. Well done. Nearly halfway. Ten to go, please. Ten. Well done. Eight. Seven. Well done. Three. Two. One. Lovely stuff. Onto your sides. Grab a tin of beans or whatever weight. Okay. Bend the knees. We're coming into a side plank on your hand. So bring your hand slightly in front, bend the knees. If you want to go side full plank, that's fine by me. If you find bent knees too easy, bring hands to ceiling with the weight. You're going to bring it down towards the mat and then look up at the ceiling, follow your hand. Forward, back, lovely. Breathe in as you go forward with that weight. Two more. We're staying up here, guys. Reach the arm forward, down by your side for 10, 9, 8. Remember, you're off next Saturday, so come on, give it socks. You're well able. Okay, a break from me next week. I have a break from you, more like. <laughs> We're nearly there. Terry, can't wait. One. Knees the weight down, hand on the hip. Just adjust yourself if you need to. We're going to lower and lift that waist for 10. Nine. You need to release the arm you can. Keep you honest. For four, three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Onto your back, please. Okay. Grab your weight. All right. Lie down. Do the other side in a moment. Bring your knees into tabletop position. Lower back is connected with the mat. Hands reaching towards the ceiling. We're going to take a breath in as you extend the arms back. On the exhale, you're going to come into ab press and you're going to reach towards the outer parts of your feet, drawing your knees towards your face. They'll hit your face. Inhale to bring your legs back to tabletop. Inhale as you reach the arms back. Exhale to come up and reach. Slowly come back into impact. Reaching. We're doing reverse curl with the legs, so bring those knees towards you, lifting the lower part of your spine off the mat, controlling it as you bring your legs back down into that tabletop position. Good. Reaching and breathing in as you extend with those arms back. We're going to go for four more. For three. Good. We're going to stay up at this one. We're going to bring the hands under our legs. Bring the palms open in line with your shoulders. Bring it back up under your legs. OK. 
Het zij dat. And comes down, lower lift for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax your head down, please, for a moment. Bring your hands behind your head, get rid of the, back, uh, the weight. Keep the legs in tabletop position. Bring your legs slightly apart so you're meeting the resistance of the band, please. We're going to come into ab prep, draw the belly button down towards the spine. Okay, point the toes, and we're going to drop our right foot down towards the mat, pushing against the band, and then bring it back up. Reaching. Good stuff. Last two, one more, lovely stuff. Bring your knees into your chest for a second before we go on to your other side. The other side for side plank, please. Have your beans ready. Coming onto your hand. Three, two, one, and come up. Make sure you're nice and secure before you start to move with the weight, okay? Uh, uh, hip is level with shoulder and hand is under under the shoulder okay we're going to lower lift that arm looking at the hand as it reaches towards the ceiling good Give two more one more okay Lower lift with that arm by your side. One, release the, back, the beans down. Place your hands onto your hip or release the hand. We're going to lower and lift that waist. Good. Shoulders dodging the foot. Good. Three, two, one, coming down. So if, if you feel like you're, it's impinging on your shoulder, I have a dodgy shoulder on my right side, you can maneuver your hand to um, assist you. So just wherever the shoulder needs to open up. Okay, back into a plank position. Okay, hands directly under the shoulders, extending left leg, right leg. We're gonna bring left leg in and then right. Remain to climbing, left, and right, alternating this time. First, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down into press ups, please. 20 reps. And no cheating. Okay, we're nearly finished. Stay with me. We're going five, four, three, two, and go. I'm going to check on you. So, I suggest you don't drop out. I'll be giving out. Coming over to you now in a second. Keep going. And you are halfway. Well done. Nine, eight, seven, six. Good stuff. Five, four, three, two. And one, come on, Mary, come on, give me that last one. Good girl, well done. <laughs> you got stung on that last one, I'm sorry. Bad timing on my behalf. Okay, onto your backs again, guys. Grab your beans. We're nearly finished. Lower back imprinted onto the mat, please. Legs and tabletop, arms reaching long and up towards the ceiling. Bring your legs slightly apart. Make sure you have good resistance to the band. So if you need to bring it down towards your knees, do. We're going to lower our left leg, bring our left, or sorry, lower our right leg, bring our left arm behind, right arm stays there. We'll just stay on this side for now, just not to confuse you. So right leg down, left arm away, keeping that imprint. Don't lose it. Good. 
Good stuff. One more. And we're going to swap now, please. Right arm, left leg. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Keep your imprint, please. Three, two, and one. Bring your knees into your chest before we do the hundred. Keep the weight in your hands. We're doing the hundred. Sorry, it's been a while. Okay. Legs back into tabletop position, arms reaching long by your side. Okay. Take a breath in. And on the exhale, coming into ab prep and reaching the arms off the floor and long. Okay. Those that are strong enough, extend the legs. Anyone that feels they're a little bit tired or weak, keep the legs bent. Okay. And we're going to start to move the arms up and down. The legs stay where they are. Inhaling for five and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. In, four, three, two, one, and out. Three, two, one. In, four, three, two, and out. In, four, three, two, and out. In, four, three, two, one, out. Good. In, four, three, two, and out. We're nearly there. And out. Breathing. Staying. Come on, moving the arms. Move, move, move. Last 10, and out, hold, 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 up, 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 bend the knee, bring them into your chest, woo, oh yeah, okay, tins away, you're done with them for today, okay, we're going to go into bridge position, bring the hands down by your sides, make sure there's nothing under your head, please, okay, feet hip distance apart or slightly wider, to meet the resistance of the band. Take an inhale, exhale, drive the hips up, please. Hands down by your side. I just want you to breathe into this for a moment. Close your eyes if you want. If you have a bobbin that's annoying you like me, just move it out of the way so your head is completely flat on the floor and you're not straining the neck. Squeezing the glutes, really activating the bum. Have a little feel there if you want and just make sure that the bum is active. Give it a little hit. Should be firing up. Your, lo your lower shoulder blade should be resting onto the floor. From here, guys, we're going to bring the knees wide and then bring them back towards each other. Bring the knees away and then together. Well, not together, but just in line with your hips. Bring them back to where they began. Okay, so away with the knees and back. Good. Well done. Give me two more. One more. Bring the legs in line with your hips. Okay, walk your heels back a little bit towards your backside. Okay. And a little bit closer, so walk them again towards your backside. If you cramp, extend the legs. Once you come up onto your tippy toes, bring the legs wide, bring the legs back in line to hips and drop the heel. Up on your toes, legs apart, legs in line to your hips, drop the heel. So you kind of know your, your heels should be quite close to your backside, but you know what feels right to your knee as well. So if it doesn't feel right on your knee, bring your feet forward slightly, okay, towards your knee rather than towards your back side. So if it doesn't feel good on the knee, bring your feet away from your bum. Up on your toes, bring the knees apart, bring them back in line with your hips, drop it down. You should start to feel a little burn in these calf muscles now. And your arse. Good, lift those heels. Knees away, knees back, drop the heels. Give me two more, please. Lift away with the knees, back in line with the hips, drop the ankles, and one more. We're going to stay up off the heels this time and we're going to pulse the legs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your bum down onto the mat. Bring your hands behind your head, please. Bring your feet slightly away from your backside and hip to heart. Take a breath in and on the exhale, coming into ab prep. Keep the feet down. 
Inhale to bring your head back onto the mat and exhale. Good. Keep the elbows wide. As you come up, there's that crunch position. Just draw a little bit of tension down towards your spine, okay? Rather than pushing the belly out, you want to draw it down towards the spine. Good. Okay, from there, guys, bring that right leg into tabletop position. Okay, I want you to extend it straight. As you inhale, stay down as you are, leg long, and your head is rested. Exhale as you come up. And I want you to rotate towards that knee that's coming towards you. Inhale as you rest your body down, extend the leg straight. Just keep the knees parallel. Exhale, come up and rotate. Good. So you're pushing into that band as you bring that knee towards your chest and you're rotating, so you're getting a nice oblique activation here. One more. Place that foot down for the lovely, lovely uh, exercise. Extending that left leg, keep the knees parallel to begin. We're going to breathe in, stay down on the mat with your head. As you exhale, bring that knee towards you and then rotate. Good. Breathe in, extend. Extending both ways, head down, leg away. Good. Only one more. Lovely stuff. Okay, we're going to finish with the leg circles, my favorite. Bring yourselves into imprint. Bring legs to tabletop. From here, I want the resistance on the band. Normally, we have our legs stuck together, but because the bands are here, we may as well use them. Okay, anyone without bands can bring their legs together. So, bring the toes into an active position. So, bring them towards your shins. Okay, so open the soles of the feet. Imprint with your lower back. Bring both legs towards the right side of the room, keeping the resistance on the band. Bring your legs away and back around. Okay, so leading with one leg. So as you're going to the right, you're pulling with your right, you're pulling your right, you're pulling your left leg with your right leg. As you go to the left, your left leg is leading the right. Just pulling on the band. So nice circles. Visualize you've got two pens sticking out of both knees and you're drawing a nice circle on the ceiling. Keeping the resistance of that band to so keep the legs apart. I know it's quite hard. That's the idea. Go the opposite way, please. After this, we're going to finish with back cow stretch because I feel we need to. I need to finish. <laughs> oh, and the squash. We'll do the squash first, okay? Good. One more. Lovely stuff. Bring those knees into your chest, guys. Just extend that right leg nice and long. And we're going to swap over and take the band off. So we go along with that left leg first, nice long leg, open up the hip, and keeping that other one in. Wasn't too tough a class, I don't think. <laughs> I hope. And then slowly bring that knee towards your opposite shoulder. Stay lying down the mat with the hip flexor stretch, okay? Okay, so lie onto whatever side. Make sure you can see me. You're going to bring your lower leg up towards your chest. Some of you have done this with me before. And grab it with your lower hand, okay? holding that position and rounding through your spine as if you're bringing your head down towards that lower leg. Then I want you to grab the ankle of the upper leg 
and come into almost like a quad stretch, you know, like a standing quad stretch. So bringing that leg back. Now the idea is that you have your knee in line with your hip. And I want you to round forward towards your other leg. So you're taking the spine out of it. So when we're standing, we're obviously, we have a straight spine. You can go into a deeper hip flexor stretch because you're arching your back. Whereas you're taking your spine out of it, it's solely the hip flexor that's working here. So it's a really, really good one for anyone with light hip. Okay. Make sure if your neck is sore that you've got support under your head instead of dropping off like so. Or you can place your hand under if you can to keep your knee where it is. So hold in that position. Have a little look and see how tight you are. If your knee is forward, it means your hip flexors are extremely tight. And we want it in line with our hip. This is a really, really good one I learned from a um, really excellent physical therapist many years ago. So I highly recommend it. Okay, opposite side. So lie at your other side. And We'll bring the lower leg towards your chest. Okay, grab the upper leg, holding the ankle, rounding that spine down towards the lower knee, lower knee as if you're going to kiss it. So don't. And then have a little look. My left hip flexor, which makes sense because it is my tighter one, is forward. Okay, of my hip. So, and also you can add in, make sure your knee isn't down. I want your knee in line with your hip as well. So don't have your leg dropping. Okay, everything is in line with your ideally, in an ideal world. Holding, squeezing that glute if you can of the upper, upper hip as well. Squeeze. It's a really, really good one, guys. So if you do this every day along with cat cow, you would be doing very, very well. Okay, just as a mobilization. Okay, onto all fours, hands under your shoulders. Relax the bum bum, okay, relax the feet, no tension. Take an inhale here, we're gonna move the head and the pelvis at the same time. And exhale, start to move both the pelvis and the head, the eye line starts to move. Bringing the eye line under your body, looking at your leg. And pushing through your hands, really rounding the spine. We're gonna inhale as we bring our pelvis away and looking up, soften that back, really pushing the rib cage down towards the floor, okay, exaggerate. And then exhale, tucking the pelvis, using your stomach muscles, okay? Really, really, instead of using your arms too much, use your abs first, okay, for the first bit. Then push into the floor. Then fully relaxing the neck. We're going to inhale to open up. Keeping those arms straight. Opening up, opening up. Good. And then exhale, tucking. Pushing into the floor. Open stuff. Open down. And releasing. Lovely. Looking, looking, looking. We're going to put two more full ones of these after this one. Squeezing the glutes a little bit as well as you drive up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale. Into downward dog position. Okay. Marching the legs. Pushing the heels down. Last one, and then we finish with that famous squat at the end of class. Wanted to release the hips a little bit more after working them. Marching the legs, pushing the heels down, opening up the ankle joint. Good for three, two, one. Walk your hands in and slowly come up standing. Excellent, well done. So guys, I'm gonna put uh, on mute everybody. Uh, mute. Uh, if you can unmute yourselves, actually, sorry, not happening. So we're gonna do that famous squat that we did the last two weeks. So I roll up my mat. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Take your shoes off if you can. Didn't have any uh, shoes on. Uh -huh. Didn't have any shoes on. Didn't. No, we didn't really. You're okay today because we weren't doing any kind of jumping. Hey, when we do this squat, are we supposed to be on our toes the whole time? Is that why we're rolling the mat? No. So generally, like like we're conditioned, I suppose most of us don't have the ankle mobility to get down to a deep squat like me. And as a runner, I definitely don't. Okay, because I'm very tight in my hip. So what I want you to do is roll your mat up, okay, like so, 
and then you're going to place your heels on the back of your mat or on the um on the roll of part of your mat and you're resting on the arch the back of the arch so that's just the hard part of your heel is on the back of the mat so you're meeting the back of the arch okay just make sure it's level you want to be level okay and once you're lifted okay we're going to go wide enough with your feet so we'll kind of hip distance is slightly wider make sure your feet are in the correct alignment that one isn't forward and back so you don't irritate the knee and when we're ready i hope you're all ready we're going to go down slowly into a nice squatting position bringing your arms to the floor bring your arms in either side of your knees and push with your arms into the inner parts of your knees just to open up the hip and we're going to time this we're going to hold it for at least a minute or two okay i can't see you at all because uh, i have my phone and i haven't put it on the bigger screen i can only ever see four anyway on the phone i will be getting my laptop back a very soon so bring it back is all i can say much easier for class environment so yeah just chilling hope you enjoyed the class did you yes very good yeah the red band was a pleasure well, it's amazing, isn't it? My blue band was killing me. The red band is so much nicer. Oh, it's lovely. You can actually move with it. I love the red band. Um, I could go to green, but I just, I just don't need it, to be honest. Um, particularly after doing a hard running session this morning, I definitely don't need it. But if I was doing... We don't need it. We don't need it. No, exactly. No, you don't. You don't really. The idea is that you're still able to move correctly because if you're using a really tight band, it's going to affect, like you're going to start bending your knees when you shouldn't be bending your knees. You're going to be, uh, you're, it's going to change the, the body alignment generally. I suppose you're not going to be um, straighter through your spine and stuff like that. And you're going to end up injured, to be honest. So everything else starts to compensate. Okay, we're going to hold it, guys, for, that's over a minute. So keep going. Keep talking. I'm going to keep talking. What are we going to talk about? I mean, I've got a birthday party to go to today, 40th, and then... Uh, what else? Have I got? Oh, I'm going to a baby shower. Alba oh, Darcy's baby shower. Oh, oh yeah. on Sunday. She's having her baby next month. No. Does she have it? Is she have an agenda reveal? No, no, no. They don't know. I think it's gonna be. I thought a girl. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. I don't know. Or a boy. It'll be a boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to boy now. I, I am thinking boy. Um, <laughs> there's not too many options. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But Jen, I love guessing. I love guessing. And, uh, <laughs> it's a bit like my matchmaking. I'm never any good at it. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. So, <laughs> that guys. Why don't, you stand, why don't you ever stand up straight from that? I, I think you're better off kind of coming onto your knees first, releasing the shoe <laughs> onto your heels. Because uh, when you're down in that position, your hips can be quite tight. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording.